guys, welcome back to another how-to video. Today, I'm gonna be showing a overview and assembly of this red dot site here. So this red dot site is a remix of another rival site, uh, but there's a link down in the description to the original site. I tried to keep a similar aesthetic. Um, uh, this is the rival version, but there is a nerf version and I'll link both of those files in the description below. So let's get right into it. I'm going to be doing a little bit of sanding. I'm really only going to focus on the slanted parts and this area right here where it was on the print bed. So next we're going to be painting and priming it. Now for painting, you're going to want a wire or string, and you're going to want some paper. Now first, we're going to pass this through right here, loop this around. Make sure it's a big loop or else it might cover up, because if it's really tight, then it might cover up some of the some of the part that's covering up won't get painted. And you just want to tie it back like that and that looks good. Now for the paper that we're going to want to do is we don't want any paint to get inside of there. Now we can't just put taper over it because then the entire back won't get painted. So what we're going to do we're gonna take this little piece, we're gonna kinda crumple it up, and then stuff it in there. And you're gonna want some tool to help you stuff it in there. Like, you can use just kinda like the end of a paintbrush or something like that. Just really anything that to that can get in there and squish it in there. So now that we've got this area covered up, we can go on to priming and painting.
So now that the site is done painting, we will add all the electronics in. So you're going to need one of these. You're going to need an LED. A clear piece of plastic. You don't want to make it tape because then the dot won't look very good. And then if your LED is too bright, you want a maybe like a little piece of plastic or a bit of extra raft that you had and you can color it black or paint it black and then you can put some either semi-transparent tape or just glue a piece of like a semi-transparent sheet on the back and then you have a little hole right there and then you can also adjust the shape so let's say you want if you want a triangle you can cut a triangle out of there and the dot will show up as that so so the first th thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach the battery like that if it's not turning on then switch to the other side see if I turn it that way, then it won't turn on. But if I turn it the other way, it will. Then, we're going to want to just kind of stick it through. We can look right here and see if it's lined up. And if it, if it is, then it's good. So then just push it in there. And if it's in there, then you can take the battery out like that. So that's how you do it. So if you want to turn it on, you can just slide the battery in like that, and push it in. Now if you want to hold it in there, you can put a piece of tape over there or something like that. Maybe in future designs, I will make something to cover that up to keep the battery in there. So, and then, so we, to test it out, we can put the piece in there. Now, if, now it's pretty bright as you can see, so, we are going to we take this, we have the thing hindering the amount of light that I can do, and then we're going to take a bit of glue, and then we're going to glue it on there. I suggest using something like this just because it can apply it thinly and accurately. And just put a little bit of glue on there. Take it and put it on over the light. So you can take a piece of duct tape and stick it on there. Make sure it's lined up correctly. Stick it on there tight. So, here we just have a clear plastic sheet. Uh, you want to cut it to make sure it fits in there pretty good. Um, oops. It should just be able to rest up against uh, the notches, and it should be pretty close to the center. Uh, just make sure it's pushed in all the way. It should be pretty close to the center, but if you want to adjust it, or um, if you would like to adjust it or something like that, you can put some kind of spacer there. You can also edit the model. Um, in the model, I already made this stick out just a little bit more, just so that it's a little bit down, so that it, you don't have to look at it straight up like that to see it in the middle so that you can look at it from slightly above and it can also counter like drop and stuff like that but it but if you do if you would like to adjust it at all then uh you can take like a little piece of tape or something and just put it over there and just add more and more pieces of tape until it gets to the right position that you want so next we're going to glue in the uh clear plastic sheet and 
We're going to use this again. And just stick it in there. Get some glue on there. Then apply some glue to each notch. Make sure you don't have any glue on your fingers because then it will get on the lens and make it really blurry. All right, then you wanna let that dry for an hour or two. Make sure it's cured in there. Just leave it like that. And then we'll come back when it's done. So the site's done and it turned out pretty well. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.